Hello hot sauce fans. Today I'm going to try Da Bomb Beyond Insanity. And stay tuned because this is going to burn me a lot. What kind of sauce would you like? This thing is 135,000 Scoville units. Although it tastes hotter than that, I had a try. I tried to film this with a friend of mine um, on a Zoom call and none of the footage came out. So actually it didn't film for whatever reason. It didn't, it didn't uh, work. So thank you for stopping by. My name is Jeremy Blanchard. This is Hot Sauce Fan. You know, I did try it before. Um, it says uh, we started hot, hot, with hot habanero peppers and blended them with a smoky chipotle pepper and natural pepper extract to create a sauce that was lab tested at 135,600 Scoville units. Wicked beyond belief. Um, now my, I've gained a little tolerance because of the tube of terror, and uh, it, now I feel like I can take on anything. And I'm start, I'm trying this one because. Well, one, I need to do it. Uh, I've had it for a while, and I the film that I had, I got, you know, didn't happen. So I thought, well, I'll do a hot one tonight, and then let's see what happens. And the last time I had a, a pretty, pretty decent reaction. The main issue for me wasn't really the mouth pain that it, it incurs. It's more about the stomach pain, of course. And um, so hopefully I can uh, resist that stomach pain this time. So uh, these guys are out of Kansas City from Spicen. I think it's Spicen.com. Let me just check here. Spicenfoods.com is where you can get this or you can get it on Amazon um, from Spicen, I believe. Uh, manufactured in Kansas City, Southwest Boulevard, 111 Southwest Boulevard. I grew up like uh, maybe around an hour from here, from there. So that's that's what I'm gonna try. So let's break her open. It smells like Chipotle to me. Um, a lot of people think it smells more, uh, really chemically chemical, and I mean I, I kind of agree with that a little bit. Um, but it does smell Chipotle as well. Uh, it is habanero peppers, habaneros, and salt. Chipotle puree, puree <laughs> chipotle puree, uh, chipotle water, salt, citric acid, water, orange juice, concentrate, natural pepper flavoring, tomato paste, potassium sorbate, and sodium benzoate to pervert, preserve freshness. Probably with a sauce like this where it's not, it, it's an extract, it, it probably needs that preser preservatives entirely sure. It says refrigerator for open opening. It smells fine to me. I've had it for like a month or so. Made in the USA, product for Kansas. So let's uh, dig in and get my chase the heat. Don't take your sauce spoon. I like the case. I like the mother of pearl spoon. That's my choice and I, let's, um, Let's make the pour, if you will. It's very um, muddy. It's a red muddy. I don't even know how to explain it. I can see habanero seeds in there. I don't know. We're just going to do it. I don't have, of course, I don't have anything with me to drink or anything like that. I, I just tough it out and get her done. It's quite a good helping there, I think. I don't know. I'm going to tell you after. I, I think... The last time I thought it was okay, but it's not really my favorite. It's just meant strictly for burning your, your insides and, um, and causing pain. So, you know, if you like Chipotle, I, you might like this actually. Um, if you like heat and you like Chipotle and habaneros, go for it. This is probably not going to get much use out of me. Uh, I probably won't ever buy it again. And who knows? Maybe I'll enjoy it. Maybe I don't know. Let's do it. Ready? Three, two, one, cheers. Immediate burn. I mean immediate. It's not my favorite. And where my tolerance is high, not really doing much. It's just it's burning my mouth. But last time I did this, before I did the tuba terror, 
it really affected me like I was I had a hard time talking I was my eyes were watering my eyes are just barely almost watering it's more about the mouth pain and I can handle the mouth pain mouth pain doesn't really bother me that much it is hot it is very hot I could see why celebrities that they would be very uh, you know shocked by how hot this is it's almost like a chemical burn more than a capsaicin burn. Yeah, you don't want to give this to someone who doesn't eat hot sauce very much. When I talk, my mouth burns a lot, my tongue especially. It's a pretty good burn, I will say. I don't really care for the flavor that much. And I'm sure these, these guys get this all the time. I'm kind of in the middle. I like Chipotle. All right, well, um, let's do the, the scores here. I do a, a zero to two on um, five different categories to make 10 and that's what my score will be. I like to be a little more methodical about like the various aspects of the sauce from the label to the consistency to the heat to the flavor to the ingredients. Let's start with the label. The label is spot on with the bomb beyond insanity. If you're someone who hasn't, if you're not a chili head or someone who doesn't eat a lot of spice, this is going to wreck you. It will destroy you for a while. Normally I'd get the hiccups on something like hot like this and I didn't get it this time for some reason. Last night I had the Reaper squeeze in triple X and uh, it gave me the hiccups immediately. Two Batera gave me hiccups between zero and two. You know, it's accurate information. I, I like where they went with it, the bomb beyond insanity to show you how hot it is. It's a small bottle, which is probably good because it, a lot of this stuff is probably gonna go to waste. People throw it in the trash all the time. So between zero and two, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm gonna give it a one and a half. It says what it's gonna do. It's gonna make your mouth into bomb. The font is readable. It's very understandable. No questioning there, except for the extract, I'm, I'm curious to know what more about that. The flavor between zero and two, I'm gonna give that 0.25 for me on the flavor. The heat, for someone who doesn't eat hot sauce, it's a two out of two. For someone, for a chili head, I'm gonna say it's probably 0.75. The consistency and the thickness, it's a, it's a fairly thick sauce. It, did, it didn't come out like uh, water. Uh, but it didn't come out so thick that I couldn't pour it. I'll give that a one and a half. Ingredients, not my favorite type of ingredients, but I'm gonna give it a one out of two. Yeah, I like Chipotle, but this tastes chemical to me, so Chipotle, if, if you're a Chipotle lover, you may love this. I'm not sure, I'm not like a huge fan of Chipotle. So there you have it. Uh, there's my score for the, the bomb. It's already starting to, to subside. The heat in my mouth is starting to, to go away. Just a little bit of residual burn. I'm a little surprised that I was able to handle that as well as I did. Here, I'll, I'll act like I'm crying. <laughs> This is so hot, oh. Okay, that was really bad. If you enjoy this content, like and subscribe. All right, well, that's all from me. Thank you for joining me. Have a good day and go get your sauce on. What kind of sauce would you like?